News Channel 5's Claire Kopsky joins us right now this morning as we're talking about how as a parent, your kids often fascinate you with what they notice or of course with what they say. <laughs> right, yeah. and Claire, sometimes you're really left wondering if they're repeating something they heard or if they actually came up with it all their own. Absolutely, I know that happens to me all the time yeah. with my friend's kids. I'm like, are they old enough oh, to yeah. know this? Could right? they know that word, mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly, well there's a set of parents in Hillsboro, Tennessee that realized their son was flooring them on a daily basis a few years ago when he was just two, which led them on a hunt to be sure that he wouldn't be bored in kindergarten. Miss. Miss. <laughs> Your turn. Connor Samples <laughs> is sometimes uh, a normal six. five year old. Yep, it's a miss. Except he's already an avid battleship player. <laughs> no. Our one is a miss. What? <laughs> I'm getting all the misses here. And misses are just what not something he's English? used to. Trying to teach him how to sound things up so he could read, like, K -k he's like, Mom, that says this. And I'm like, we can skip that. <laughs> he started doing his sight words okay. and things like that at two. From two and a half, he was reading. He wasn't just reading small words. He was reading full conversations. I come home from work and I, you know, there he is reading subtitles across the TV screen at, you know, <laughs> just such a young age. And I was always so, yeah, I was always so shocked. The shock led to curiosity. And when he entered kindergarten in the fall, Marjorie and Phil watched him closely. When he started school, I saw regression happening um, and you know he you know he came and he wanted to do phonics and I'm like okay we could do phonics buddy but you already know phonics. They decided to get him tested right, and when his results oh. came back showing Connor was indeed gifted his parents realized traditional school wasn't going to be an option. My mom does um, reading and spelling and language arts and my dad does um, math social studies and science. We get to progress him as fast as he can go. I'll give an example right now, we're what, two months into homeschool? We started him in January. He's already, I mean, he's already over 75% done with the math for the year. What do you really like to do? Math. Why math? Because it's too easy. <laughs> what do you mean it's too easy? And it also, it's, it is really fun, and sometimes we get to regroup this way. In February, the family received exciting news. Connor had tested well enough to become a member of Mensa, the oldest and largest high IQ society in the world. They also learned he is one of only 122 kids five and under in the U.S. to earn it. The IQ for five-year-olds vary between five and 20. Mensa requires members to test above a 132 IQ. You guessed it, Connor surpassed that. It's above 132, and, I, and the exciting thing is that it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. For now, a little kid studying big kid things, all while having even bigger dreams. I don't know. I want to be maybe the president, but maybe a Spider-Man. But, you know, I kind of like the Wiggles, but then I think I want to be, um, what was it that he said? Uh, I think I want to be a fireman. He's like, man, there's so much I could do. Maybe I want to be all of them. You know, Connor, you we think you running. should be too. It's a new one. Of course he's excited about I a know. sharpened yeah, pencil, I right? It. I know. He love could it. be president or Spider-Man. Or both. Yes. And he might. <laughs> he really might. I mean, if he's progressing this quickly, who knows how many careers he could have. Mm -hmm. And Connor is one of only three kids in the state of Tennessee to be a Mensa member at the age of five and under. The family wishes homeschooling wouldn't get such a bad reputation because they say if done right, it helps kids push their abilities and they can excel in the areas that they can excel at. It just takes some extra work to make sure that they're getting the right socialization. They encourage any parent who thinks their child might be gifted to push to have their kid tested. They say that, that they, if they did it with Connor, they would have lost at least three years of learning with him at school.